Hello, I'm Renee Esquimel, and thank you for watching the latest video on my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. It's a fledgling channel, but if you like it, please give me a, a like and a subscribe. I would really appreciate that as I'm trying to grow this. Okay, um, I do have the occasional need in the field of bringing with me a Windows laptop. Mostly, I have a MacBook Pro that runs Windows uh, on Parallels desktop. That lets me run Windows and Mac OS concurrently uh, for a lot of benefit. Um, but occasionally there's times I do need a Windows laptop, but mainly when I'm home, whenever I use that Windows laptop, I immediately have a need of transferring data between text data between either my Windows laptop and iPhone or my iPad or my MacBook. And if you know already, that's not possible. The Microsoft um, uh, synchronized clipboard is only for Microsoft laptops, computers, and Android devices. And likewise, the Apple Universal Clipboard is closed ecosystem um, that's only for Mac hardware, Mac computers, iPads, and the uh, iPhones. But I did find a way to merge the two. And uh, so I'll, I'll jump right into it. Let me first show you what you need in order to make this work, and then I'll demonstrate it for you so that you can see, at least in terms of uh, copying and pasting text, it does work. It works really well. So let's get right into it, okay? Okay, these are the requirements that you'll need in order to uh, transfer uh, text data uh, or text between back and forth between the Microsoft clipboard and the Apple Universal clipboard. Um, you'll need a Mac running Parallels desktop with a Windows partition. Once you see that what I have running, it'll make more sense what I'm saying by that. The Windows partition must be running concurrently with the Mac OS. Number two, you need the Apple Universal clipboard, which requires each participating Apple device uh, must be using the same iTunes login. Uh, number three, the enable the clipboard sync on all participating Windows computers. And in a similar vein with the Apple side, they must you must use the Windows email login on each participating computer. And if you want Android, install the Microsoft Swift key keyboard on any participating Android device. Um, must select the Swift key keyboard and use the same Microsoft email as is used on the Windows side. Um, and, uh, and the Microsoft email and the iTunes login, they don't have to be the same. That part, they can be separate emails. Okay, now let's get right into it. The key to getting this to work so that the Windows clipboard is tied to the uh, Apple Universal Clipboard is Parallels Desktop. And for that, then I need my MacBook Pro as part of the solution or any Mac that's running uh, Parallels Desktop. So uh, you can see here, uh, uh, I am running Parallels Desktop. I have a Windows 10 Bootcamp partition and Parallels Desktop lets me run that concurrently with Mac OS, and that's also key. You gotta run it concurrently. And um, so let me go ahead there. And uh, now anything I copy on the, on the Mac side, I can paste into the Windows side of the Parallels desktop and vice versa. And that's what makes this all work so beautifully. Because now when I paste something into the Windows side, it is, applies to any other Windows laptop or computer or Android phone that is connected to my Wi-Fi using my email address. Okay, uh, now let's do the first copy uh, just to demonstrate this working now. And then we'll get into the mechanics of it afterwards. Uh, let me copy and paste a message to say, hey, it's coming from Windows 11 to the MacBook Pro. I do a copy there. And now let's go... Uh, swipe over to the Mac side. I'll bring up uh, Apple Pages. Um, let me go ahead there and uh, 
paste it, and then you can see, hey, I just copy and paste it from Windows to Mac. And uh, now let's go the other way. So let me go ahead and uh, select there to copy from the MacBook Pro and do the uh, Command C. Now let me come over here to the um, Windows and voila, and there it goes. Okay, so uh, next let's go ahead and copy from Windows, uh, my Windows 11 laptop and paste it into the iPad Pro. And so let me launch their Apple Pages. We get to a nice clear open area and bingo, there it is. And of course, let's go the other way. Let's go copy from the iPad Pro, copy and go over to the Windows side. and paste it and there we go okay so now uh, next let's go ahead and uh, uh, copy and paste from the iPad Pro to the Android now I don't have an actual I Android phone but I'm using uh, BlueStacks which runs an Android OS uh, same as what you'd have on a phone and so that'll be my uh, my version of it but Go ahead here and uh, launch it. I got a text editor on the BlueStack side and go ahead and uh, paste and bam -o. there it goes. I mean, it's, it's working fine here. Now let's go ahead, I think uh, next one, let's do the uh, iPhone and uh, copy from the iPhone to the Android, copy. And go over here to the Android side and uh, just get to a nice little open area there and uh, let's do the paste. There it is. Okay, and uh, and let's see. Let's go ahead and copy from the Android side to the uh, iPhone. And let's come over here. And okay, bamo. There we go. Okay, so so far everything's going really well. Um, now let's go through some of the particulars here. Uh, in order to get this to work, you do have to go to the clipboard settings on all your Windows computers that you're going to be. Uh, that are going to be part of this ecosystem and turn on uh, the sync across your devices here you turn that on make sure that's on and automatic sync okay now I also have the clipboard history on but that whether you want that on or off that's irrelevant it's that sync across your phone that you need set now if you see here on my Windows 10 this is the parallels desktop I got to make sure that is set as well. So I go to clipboard settings there on the Windows 10. And uh, sync across devices is on. You can see that. And automatic sync. Okay. That's also. That's a requirement. And of course, clipboard history. That I just, for convenience, it's not part of the solution. And then on the Android side, um, go into rich input clipboard and make sure that your sync clipboard history make sure that is turned on if you haven't done it previously it'll make you sign in when you tap clipboard and when you tap clipboard history and sign in with your Microsoft ID it must be the Microsoft well there you have it um, it actually works um, I do want to and I, I would really love to see if uh, Parallels could find a way to make that, make a product that acts as a, a, a clipboard bridge between Windows and Mac. Perhaps there's a way for them to isolate just that block of code that handles that on a running Windows uh, uh, 
virtual machine, or not virtual machine, uh, partition, and make it operable um, as just a standalone little app. That would be really nice. Um, it's possible this might work with the Apple M1s, uh, but I use the uh, Intel. I know for sure it works on the Intel, and uh, but I, I don't know for sure whether it would work on the M1 because there it's not going to be running a Windows partition. It's going to be running a Windows virtual machine, uh, and that is a difference. And then um, it's I wondered if using uh, a hypervisor like... Uh, um, Oracle VirtualBox or VM Player or VMware, if that would also work, um, I, I don't still know. Uh, but I do know that what I'm doing works, and so uh, if somebody gives me feedback that it works under a different sc scenario, I'd love to hear it. Please give me some feedback, and again, uh, hopefully this will be helpful. All this is field-tested stuff, because that's the nature of my channel, Technologist on the Go.